sleep, but it didn't, I mean, it helped, but it, it had bad side effects too. So here it goes. The other night, I saw a pineapple crawling up the walls, slicing the eyes and testicles of a treasure troll, dangling a sausage in front of my snout, and pouring hot grease all over my childhood blanket. I saw a drill sergeant barking orders at a lobster trapped in the body of a duck. I drank mouthwash while tied to the mast of a sinking relationship. I made death wishes at the bottom of a well, with pill bugs crawling out of the stripper's eyes. I popped my canker sores, and their juices tickled the foreskins of white nationalists standing in line to vote for Kyle Rittenhouse for president in 2052. I also ate a puppy. At least I thought it was a puppy. It could have been the umbilical cord tethering me to the 10 pound tip on my team, but it had fur, so I'm going with puppy. <laughs> Did you know that Satan can read your fortune by watching the movements of your throat? Were you aware that you were just one thought away from becoming a goose? The universe is an abacus constructed from the wood and nails of Jesus' cross. The beads are his teeth. The portal beneath my toilet leads to an alternate reality where they sutured his scrotum to his forehead instead of crucifying him. My mom was the one who told me that. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Just kidding. It was the ghost of Mr. Rogers. That was during that one party where the cast of Golden Girls put fentanyl in his drink. Now that Betty White is back in the fold with them, Mr. Rogers should sleep with one eye open. If ghosts even have eyes, or if they even sleep. Yeah, that was, uh, Mertazapine. The next one is called Aberrations Part 2. It's the, the second part of a song I wrote called Aberrations, but it comes in the form of a poem. It's a Rosalind Street song. Aberrations, the means to vocalize your pain. Sitting in a chair in a waiting room. The lights bleed cold smells into the fabric of your clothes. Your soul is soaked with frustration. You yearn for a spoon to pierce the clouds and slip medicine between your lips to trigger the gag reflex of a woman who has never known touch, a woman who kills thoughts before they hatch and copulate in the dusty dark between the couch cushions. A ghost trap in buzzing fluorescent light sings to you. Particles of calm float in on convection currents and preach the gospel of oxygen. Your voice is powerful, but it can't negate the tension of tapping feet. It trips the microphones nested in the walls like strings of code. The walls record you without your consent. The walls know what they're doing is unethical, but the walls don't care. This next one is called me. No one knows how long I've been laying here with the crows staring at the hole between my eighth and ninth vertebrae. A crack in the vessel God had built to contain meaning. The outside is now flooded with it. It circles the event horizon of each obsidian eye 10,000 times before it realizes the last keyholder died in fire. His charred skull grins eternally as if saying, you are nothing. 